We must recognize the enemy. Lots of times in marital relationships, we're very slow to recognize the enemy. And you cannot fight against something that you don't recognize. Uh, recently, uh, I was on my way to a lunch appointment, and a lady hit me in the parking lot. I was on my way to, you know, to the area where I was going to park, and she backed out and she hit me. Well, as I was sitting in my car waiting for the police to arrive, uh, this older gentleman walks up. My door was open. He walked up to my door and came. He passed my personal space. I mean, he was past my personal space. And, you know, I had, you know, Johnny under my seat. <laughs> my arms are long. I can reach for him. You never know. I got him. So I'm thinking to myself, what is, this, what is going on here? He came real close to me. And, and watch this. He, he said, sir, I can witness that she hit you. And I said to myself, you almost witnessed me hitting you. <laughs> I did not recognize he was trying to help me. And so many times in relationships, we can't resist the enemy because we don't recognize him coming. So the first point is we must recognize the enemy. So let's go to 1 Peter chapter 5, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. And some of these verses, you're gonna, you've heard them before, but I want you to hear them with, a, with an open heart. Watch what it says in the King James. Be sober. Now just look at your spouse and say, you need to stop drinking. Now see, some of y'all, that's your problem for real. In fact, I'm going to ask you to do it again. See, you, they can't get mad at you. Because it's me asking you to tell them. So look at your spouse again and say, you need to stop drinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be sober. Be vigilant. Why? Because your adversary, the devil, he's as a roaring lion. He's walking about seeking whom he may devour. Listen to the ERV translation. It says, control yourselves. Look at your spouse and just tell them you need to control yourself. Control yourself and be careful. Watch this there, church. He says, the devil is your enemy. Everybody say, the devil, the devil. Is, my is my enemy. He said, the devil is your enemy, and he goes around like a roaring lion looking for someone to attack and eat. I want you to notice that that verse clearly told us who the enemy was. It says in the King James that your adversary is the devil. Now, I want you to notice what it didn't say. It didn't say that your adversary was your husband. It didn't say that your adversary was your wife. It didn't say that your adversary was your exes. Or your adversary was your spouse's exes. No, it said your adversary was who? Yeah. Was the devil. And I like how the ERV version said it. It said control yourself because the devil is your enemy. Because a lot of times the devil comes in based on how we act. Well, okay. I'll get an amen from the single people when they come. So let's start the series off by making it clear that that is who the enemy is. Because if you don't make your mind up and believe that now, you'll start fighting each other when the real enemy is the devil. Say amen to that. So how are we going to do that? Well, how are we going to recognize when the devil comes, when the enemy comes, when the adversary comes? Well, what's interesting is we just read verse uh, 8, but then verse 7 tells us something, and verse 9 tells us something. So I want you to listen now to 1 Peter chapter 5. Uh, I'm going to read now verses 6. It says, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. And then he says, Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. So now this verse is it's before the verse that we read. In other words, when we read, control yourselves, 
the devil is your enemy or he's your adversary, it says before that for us to humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God. Why? It says in due season he will raise us up. But then watch what now verse 9 says because it puts the icing on the cake which bleeds us into our second point. But verse 9 tells us to resist steadfast in the faith. So point two is after we recognize who the enemy is, who's the enemy, church? He's the devil. Then number two is now we must resist the enemy. It's not just good enough to know who he is. It's not just good enough to recognize when he's coming. But we have to learn to resist him. Now, first...